okay, I think I'll do that or whatever. Mm, but let's see here. How the hell do I find that cave area? Da -da 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 -da. What's the name of this quest? Still in the dark. Just meet her in the second level. Uh, you will show me the correct way. Uh, come on, can we just... No, you're gonna... Yeah, that that's the ticket. That is the ticket. Too much punching around here. Uh, let's just keep going, and hopefully this is somewhere correct no it's definitely the same room as before wow she's a runner oh there goes oh you guys are sneaky little bastards aren't you well then let's carry on here that's the elevator wait which one is the elevator place is really really creepy really really creepy oh here she is <clears throat> what's this did you do these repairs not bad not bad at all saves me time I guess see you upstairs yeah I will see you upstairs and you're welcome <sighs> it's about time someone thanks me for something instead of just assuming that because I'm here I'm here to do stuff for them now it's in that room and for some reason I can't get over there yet. I'm sure we'll find our way there and start taking random paths. Making love to my fist. Alright woman, what do you want from me? Hey, good, you're here. Ready to begin? Yep. Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Hmm. I set the gas to pump into the fifth level since that's where the concentration of spores was highest. I'd start looking there. Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation systems. Look for a wall with two of them almost side by side. There's one just around the corner outside this lab if you need an example. Good. Return to me when it's done. Whoa, 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 whoa. I suppose you have questions. Hurry up and ask. Yes, I do. A few things here and there. But a lot of the data has been corrupted, and all of the live samples have been contaminated by the spore plants. One interesting thing I found is that one of the chemicals secreted by the spore plant serves as a mild stimulant when ingested by humans. As far as I can tell, it has no side effects or addictive properties. Aside from the inherent psychological ones, of course. Now that I think of it, there was a corporal farber back in McCarran who'd probably be interested in it. There's a sample of it around here somewhere. Oh yes. I imagine there'll be quite an explosion when the gas gets set off. Fire will probably expand throughout the entire level in mere moments. That does pose a problem, doesn't it? If you could seal yourself inside a room before the explosion went off, you might be protected from the blast. Then again, the flames will probably blow into the rooms down there. Maybe if there were a room that was reinforced. Well, I'm sure you'll figure something out. From what I've been able to determine, the scientists here managed to breed them by combining traits from two distinct plant species. The resulting hybrid proved to be more adaptable than expected, however, and soon became a threat to humans. It's sad, really. All those wonderful minds undone by their own irresponsibility. That's a very good question. Actually, I didn't come up with it. The systems were already set to pump the gas when I first arrived here. I believe the scientists were in the process of attempting to ignite the gas, just as we're about to do. And by we, I mean you, of course. Something prevented them from igniting the gas, obviously. 
I suppose it's possible that the gas triggered some kind of defensive reaction. Hordes of previously slumbering creatures may have awoken and entered a killing frenzy, ripping the hapless scientists into quivering, bloody chunks. You'll have to let me know when you get back from going downstairs. Well, all right. The mantises and spore plants virtually ignored me for most of the time I've been here. It was only once I began to investigate the fifth level that my presence began to agitate them. I guess I was a little too close to home for them. A few days ago, I was attacked by a large number of mantises and was knocked unconscious. When I woke up, I was in that cave. The mantises seemed to feed some of their prey to the plants. Fortunately for me, it appears the plants are disinclined to eat ghoul meat. Well, okay. So, remember when I told you those have those grenades? Yeah, you want those grenades. And if you try to leave, the door is locked. She's not going to let you go. I suppose you have questions. And I think she says that somewhere around here or something. Yeah. If you kill her, though, she'll give you the key and then you can unlock it manually. But as for right now, you're pretty much stuck in here until you do her freaking quest. That kind of aggravated me because, like I said before, I didn't have a grenade and, well, yeah, it, it was pretty bad. What I, what ended up happening is, I, fortunately for me, I was playing on normal mode. I wasn't playing on hardcore, and I had, okay, apparently you just, all right. So anyway, I had a flamethrower and I was with Veronica and Eddie ironically and I only had a flamethrower so I found the door to lock myself in there however the flamethrower shoots so fast that you pretty much only have like two seconds to close the door not even that so what basically happened I ended up shutting myself in there barely after about five or ten trials and then I finally lived through it unfortunately Eddie and Veronica died but it was for the greater good. And by the greater good, I mean I ended up being able to revive them since it was only normal mode. So my hats is off to that. And I, damn it, that's why I came back over here. I'm freaking got confused a little bit. So let's head to the um, next floor because I believe that's the way you get down there. There goes food production. Let's take the stairs. Roller coaster of love. Wait, this is the right way, right? It's better be the right way. This isn't a dead end, right? I don't remember anymore. Roller coaster of love. Who doesn't like that song? That's a classic. I remember hearing it from Beavis and Butthead Do America. That movie wasn't quite the classic. Alright, I don't care about this. It's not about hacking computers, and I don't care. Still haven't got that trophy for hacking 25 computers yet for some strange reason. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I think this is the computer. Yes, it is. Yes, if you can unlock that, please. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say access denied? Okay, that was weird. Yeah, whatever. Might be because she. I started the quest and I need that damn key. Alright, they're trying to start a fight, but there's no one to really start it with. Question marks. A little bit confused. Let's see here. According to my map, I am confused. Someone needs to lead me in the right direction. Cause I'm really guidance. Yes, I do. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Fine, you win. I'll just go somewhere else for now. Trouble. What do you mean trouble? Where's the trouble at? I don't see any trouble. Why is there computer noises here when there's no one here? It's just weird. Something neither hit me or- Oh, there it is. Oh, the hell with you. 
How dare you hit Veronica? Mmm. That's what we do in our hood. Yeah, exactly. Go punch something, Veronica. Uh, yeah, this is just status reports. Food addictive. Alright, that's random. Didn't weigh anything, so why not grab it? Oh, screw you. Yeah, before you get up. Oh, you know, got up anyway. Got up just to get beaten down. Oh, okay, you're dead too, so that's cool. So, I came in here for no apparent reason I to get 20 points of experience. Alright, let's have a gander. Actually, let me look at, look up what the hell I'm supposed to do. Because I do not remember exactly, and it's starting to piss me off. So, after I beat the living hell out of whatever's in here, we'll just get the hell off me. Now, how come I only got 10 for that? Other, usually, I get 50. I'm sleep deprived? Are you serious? How can I be sleep deprived right now? There goes him. Where, where the hell is Eddie at? Eddie might have something for my sleeping needs, like an atomic cocktail, maybe? I hear you, Eddie, but I do not see you. Uh oh, here you are. Do you have something to aid my sleep? Yes, you do. <laughs> atomic cocktail. Well, yeah, I'll meet you guys after I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Look at that. No longer sleep deprived. Of course, now I have gonorrhea. And welcome back, everyone. I have looked it up. And, uh, yeah, that's basically about it. Wasn't quite sure if I was, um... Alright, Eddie, can you please come a little bit closer? Can you please? No, you're just gonna stand there? Okay. But, yeah. Wasn't quite sure if I could do this. And I'm quite... To be honest with you, I'm not sure if I still can. But basically, you want to close this door before the explosion goes off. Now, I have C4s, but I do not have a detonator. So I'm wondering if I can detonate them with the detonator I got earlier. To tell you the truth, I've never even used this before. Okay. Let's just toss that over there. Alright. Yeah, you're right. Someone could. All right, so now we're gonna pull out the, lo the Loyal's detonator and see what happens. No, we're not as fortunate. Okay, looks like we have to do this the hard way. Oh God, this is not what I wanted to do. Hopefully we can pull it off. Well, let's light that sucker. Close, 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 close. Oh, 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 oh. Well, hmm, that worked off a lot better than I thought it was gonna work, and I still got hurt somehow. If you're out there, you're gonna die. It's not even gonna lie to you. You will die, and so are your companions. So now it's safe to come out, and um, there's a bunch of dead guys out here now. It's not our problem. Also, um, the thing is blocked off when you initiate the quest, so that's what happened. However, is this an empty area or is that? I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's go back to this lady woman on the second floor, I think it was. And I uh, thought there was something special here. I could have swore there was like a magazine or something here. I don't know. I guess I'm lying to myself. I think she's on the second floor. Ooh, do not prove me wrong. Do not prove me wrong. You're supposed to be in the lab, woman. Oh, here you are. Okay, I do what you told me to do. Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. Mm, okay, so what needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. 
I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Mm. Yeah, about that. No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments, and that's strange. The system says that the files are accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Um. Hmm. Let's see the third one. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see the first option. I suppose you've given me no reason not to trust you. Fine. Take the data and go. I hope you know what you're doing. I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Huh, and you get good karma. Don't mind me. I have to wrap things uh, up here. Gather my gear. Okay, it. cool. Alright, yeah, yeah, leave me alone. Thank you. Alright, so there's actually some unique weapon I want to show you guys which is on the fifth floor and there is a skill magazine as well and I have no idea where the hell I'm going let's just reselect that quest real quick and we'll go to this after we leave the area oh we're gonna get a shit ton of experience people that's, that's what we love the best don't we so we're gonna go to the pest control room and if you don't have frag mines, I believe there's frag mines right next to her. Or like in a duffel bag or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website. But why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network. 